We're here at Gallery Guichard. I'm here with Andre and Francis Guichard. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you for being here. I am looking for a first oh, art piece for nice. my home. So Excellent. what would you say is a good starter piece? Would you, do you have anything that you could think of? We always recommend to our clients the first rule of thumb is that the work speaks to you. Okay. and that you love it because you're going to live with it irregardless of what happens to that artist's trajectory mm -hmm. and the price. Mm -hmm. While it's always a good investment, I always say stick with something you love if you can get an original piece okay. and then look at what really touches you because it should really speak to you because you're going to live with it. Now, where is a piece that you can show me that's from an up-and-coming emerging Chicago artist? This is the work of Yamonja Smalls and she's a Chicago artist and she is also featured on the set of Empire. You might actually remember this piece specifically because it was in Cookie's office. And there was another piece featured on Empire. I recall seeing this one. That is correct. That is the work of Loban Hamilton. And actually, this piece was in Lucius's office. It's just another example of the imagination that's coming out of our community, taking something and repurposing it that already had a definition. So Vinyl Records, which of course we all love and can relate to moments in our history, he's using it to create iconic characters. This piece is an amazing piece because it's found metal and he has sculpted it so that it looks as though uh, they're blowing the trumpet. It's like a call in Cinnabal. I love this piece, but I have to get my square footage up at my place before I can <laughs> get something like this. So we're in a different part of the gallery. Tell us about these pieces in here. What's special about this room or what makes it different from the front? This is our gallery artist space and our gallery space that really holds and features artists that we work with on a regular basis, but may not be part of the current exhibit, but they always have a place and live in the gallery. And it also doubles as a day studio, so the floor is forever evolving and changing to a very oversized abstract piece which is part of the eclecticness of the space. The jet pieces here by Roger Carter are also part of that where now again you're taking something that had a definition where jet is no longer published and people miss that jet magazine and that centerfold and now it's a piece of uh, furniture. If I start painting at home and I want to get my piece featured here or there's an artist saying, hey, I'd love to see my piece on the wall at Gallery Guichard, what's the process? Do they have to fill out an application? Can they just come in and have a conversation? How does that work? Well, they should email us. Um, what we do is we accept uh, submissions by email at galleryguichardsocial at gmail.com and then our curation team reviews the artwork and if interested or if it's something that speaks to us in the in the manner of the theme of the gallery then we'll ask them to come in and bring artwork and then perhaps have art shown here in the gallery I'm about to go pick out my first real art piece and make sure you do the same come by and check out Gallery Guichard right here on 47th Street